What's happening, everybody? Sean joined again by my son, Trey. And today we got a reaction to the Breeders, a song battle. Doe versus Fortunately Gone, brought to us by a friend, mm -hmm. longtime supporter, patron of the channel, a guy that brings us artists that we've never heard of. And this is another one that I never heard of. CSN. Appreciate you, CSN. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. If you'd like to support us in any way, check out that Patreon link below or the patron link on the end screen. We could not do it without them. Yeah, uh, if you don't know, the Breeders are from Dayton, Ohio. Alternative rock band. Earliest incarnation of the band was formed by the great Kim Deal and Tanya Donnelly in 1989 as a side project alongside their full time bands, uh, of course, Pixies and Throwing Muses, respectfully. So uh, here we're going to have Kim on those lead vocals. No Francis Black of Pixies here, but we have uh, we have Tanya on here on guitar and backing vocals as well. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to to diving into this I as I do like the Pixies quite a bit, but I, I didn't know about the side project. I didn't either. And both of these are from their Pod album in 1990, their debut album. Kurt Cobain often described Pod as one of his favorite mm. albums. He listed it as his seventh and then his third favorite album wow. in his private journal. It's, and said it was his number one favorite album. And in 1992, Melody Maker article, and like we said, we never heard of him. So Trey. Let's kick this thing off with dope. Yeah, and speaking of uh, Cobain and Nirvana, you have Steve Albini yeah, I thought that was uh, producing this album here. It's about a schizophrenic teenage couple losing their grip of reality um, after uh, taking Thorazine in an illusional state. They plan to burn down their town. Oh, baby. No, no light lyrics here, <laughs> boys and girls. Right, dope. Now, Trey, this is where research is your friend, right? Because I read an interview where she talked about this song. Because if we just read these lyrics, I would have no idea what this song was about whatsoever. But what'd you think? No, man, I, I think it had that that classic late 80s, you know, alt rock, yeah, like pre, 100%. pre grunge. I mean, there'd be no Nirvana without Pixies, right? And so, right. Um, you know, I, I thought it, it got that spirit right there. And yeah, knowing the backstory, Dad, you know, uh, you, you have, uh, are we assuming Timmy is the, the, boyfriend, the boyfriend in the yeah, situation? He's calling her dough and it's so salty it's got to be the thorazine right yeah that, that's what but i'm otherwise, thinking like, how would you know that and then you know we have the verse in there dared leave we burn the field completely ah, 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 ah you know in that schizophrenic state dad yeah um you know this is kind of the uh uh, you know, they, they see the beauty in, in this and they even know, I feel it's real. Again, kind of pointing to that that schizophrenic state. Exactly. I, as, a, as a mental health professional, I've been around people that are schizophrenic before, right? And that uh, that those delusions, that paranoia popping up in here. Um, and you can kind of feel that in this song, too. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I dated a few girls back in high school that seemed that way, but they weren't officially <laughs> diagnosed. That's my only experience with it. And uh, again, man, we're going from the same album here. This one, Dad, only a minute 40. 
45, so some short tunes right here. We have the track Fortunately Gone. A deal had originally practiced a song with Kelly several years previously. The lyrics mm-hmm. concern a woman who has died but continues to obsessively watch over her lover, not able to give him up even after death. Now, knowing yeah. that going in, let's see if we can pick yeah. that out of the lyrics. Wait for you. prominent bass and oh, this guy I swear I was gonna say great bass work on here. Fortunately gone. I could see it more in the lyrics here, although I don't know that I would have pulled all that out without that uh, mm. explanation. But a, a much more kind of a relaxed vocal performance from Kim on this one. Yeah, definitely. And as the song was going, we uh, you know both noted the uh, more prominent bass. Definitely. I thought the the bass line was great. Again, just kind of a little little less uh, noisy and frantic, right? Right. Than, uh, than Doe, which I, I you know I guess again reflects uh, here as uh, yeah. I, though I, reading the lyrics, I don't think that this um, poor Poor character here is in the best mental state. No, no, I don't think so. Um, and, you know, drink your soup of magpies in a pottery bowl that looks as I am now. I thought that was a very um, great way to to hit that imagery yeah. right there of that that grief and almost denial in a sense, right? Yeah, and exactly. about, oh, this person's not, I'll just wait for them uh, as they're up in heaven. And, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, and, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, yet another a uh, good tune. I, I can uh, I can see why Cobain was a a fan and why you know definitely some some influence in here of course as well but uh that'll take us dad to our winner of this battle though against fortunately gone i am going to go with fortunately gone okay. for me yeah i think that's a good choice but i'm going with doe okay i, okay. I like just the more unique soundscape mm-hmm. although as you mentioned it is kind of stereotypical late mm-hmm. 80s early 90s maybe that's why i like it but i liked <laughs> them both uh but yeah really really good band that i did not know existed so we really appreciate csn for bringing it our way but we need your help who do you think won Oh, well, give us a little little hint there. Yeah, and uh, if you like the video, y'all, it always helps hitting that thumbs up and that subscribe button we upload every day here. If you'd like to have us do a battle or support the channel anyway, go and check out Patreon, which will be linked below as well as the end screen. But uh, until next time, y'all, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.